Hi there, crafts enthusiasts. My name's Brent. I've enjoyed watching the craft strategy videos I've seen online and thought I'd throw my hat in the ring with a system I developed. In a nutshell, the system is a growth system or pyramid system that starts at the bottom, moves through the come, and goes up to the top. So we'll be using don't, come, and putting odds behind come bets. If you were standing at the base of the table, you'd see your, your, your bets sort of climbing up the table, but I filmed it from the side so you can get a better uh, view of my chip stack. So you'll start with a simple don't pass, which is a decent bet. You'll move through the come, and when there's maybe a point established, that's at this point you can see that you might lose if the point rolls, but you'll actually win if there's a point seven out situation. Um, and if other numbers are rolled, the come will move up here, which you'll back up with, you know, with odds bets. And you'll continually be doing that. You'll be moving um, come bets up to the top, backing them with odds bets until the third one. By the time a third point is established, if and when, the money will migrate, maybe let's say if they roll an eight, and you'll stop putting odds behind at this point. So you'll have a four with odds, a six with odds, and at the third number, when that one's rolled, um, I'll stop putting odds behind the number at that point. So I consider this to be two and a half points. That's sort of the maximum bet that I'll make on the number side. And as more and more money is happening, along the way the come bet was sort of acting as a hedge against the seven because um, the come bet wins on a seven come out. Once we're done making come bets, we'll then balance our bets up here using odds behind the pass line in two different increments, either of a uh, you know, $20 or $30, and I'll explain how that works as we go along. The advantage of the system is that it works, in most cases, um, to tread water when you're waiting for the table to heat up. A lot of rolls only last three or six, um, three or six rolls at a time, and you, I don't like laying out $44 quickly and having it dashed in one roll. Um, this is a system that sort of follows the, follows the dice more. Um, obviously, because it uses come bets. The other advantage of the system, uh, another advantage, is that it won't tick off the dealers too much. It doesn't require you to turn your bets off or turn them on or continually mess with them. Uh, mostly, you'll make a come bet and just have it be what it's going to be. And the only self-service um, portion is the the don't, where you can just you, know, you can change your odds as you need them. Uh, a third advantage of the system is that it doesn't require any leap of faith gestures very few, if any, leap of faith gestures. And by that I mean I've seen crap strategy videos where someone says this is a don't lose, this is a can't lose system, and it starts with laying $75 on the don't come or something crazy like that, which is terrifying. Um, this bet will lose all the time. You'll lose a big chunk. Uh, one in six rolls is a seven. So between that and 11, um, it's not a great bet. And I never make anything that I would consider to be a bad bet. It only the system only uses good bets. Um, it, it strategically uses them in combination with each other. So we'll move on to the demonstration, and you'll see how that works. I have a setup here for a three hundred dollar buy-in at a five dollar minimum table. Five dollar minimum tables are possible here in the Northeast. When you go to Mohegan or Foxwoods on a weekday morning, you can usually find them. I assume Springfield MGM will have it when they build their casino. If you can't find a $5 table, the system works fine at a $10. Um, you can scale it up to just double all of the units. There will be more variance so that when you win, you'll win more. And when you lose, you'll lose more. But I've played this at $10 tables with no problem. My chips are set up here in rows of roughly 100. So I try to have it basically, you can see there's 100 back here, 100 in the middle. This is 85 with $15 in ones. So as we go up and down, you can see roughly how my rows are doing. Um, you can eyeball how, um, how what the level of success is. I apologize at the beginning, I'm not a dealer, so I won't be using the boxes correctly. I'll just be placing my come bets basically here and my odds behind them. There's no place betting in this video, so the only thing you'll ever see up here on the numbers is come bets. Um, you'll see it different, it'll appear differently in the casino and the payments may go out back and forth a little differently. I just have taught myself dealing and this is how I do it. Um, similarly, I won't be bridging or healing my odds maybe exactly the way that you're, you're used to. I, I rely on the dealers to help me with that until I am in the groove, as they say. So let's start the system as 
it is done without any variance. So we'll just go for triple unit odds on every single outcome. Come out roll. Eight is the point. So we go from one unit here, we'll add a unit to the come, and let the come bar tell us what numbers are high. Seven out. This is actually the best, one of the good things that can happen in the system. Seven, we, we're, we're in a vulnerable position on the don't during the first come out roll because so many chances of seven or 11 coming up. But as soon as there's a point, seven becomes our friend immediately, both on the come and on our don't. So while the whole table is groaning, we actually just made a little bit of money. I wouldn't celebrate too much. I always smile a little bit, but you don't want to be a dark cloud over there playing the don't system. And when the table actually starts rolling the numbers, you can cheer for them. And that's what I do. I like being a light-sided better. I want a hot roll. I want a lot of numbers. I just, eh, I'm a little bit wary of losing all my money at one time. So let's continue with a new shooter. Yo is bad for our don't. Replenish that. The whole time you do this, you'll be replenishing the don't and very often the come, almost on every roll. Six is the point. So we'll move to one unit on the come. That is a uh, yo 11. This is a nice bet for us because a nice outcome will win on our come and nothing else happens. We've got a free $5 with nothing really at risk or very little at risk. Another, sh another, uh, another roll here. That's the seven out. And since we have not yet any come bets established, we're just winning our $10 uh, in these places. Let's take that money and start again. Okay, come out roll. Nine is the point. Follow that up with a one unit come bet and roll again. Okay, so this will move to the eight, at which point we will back it up with triple odds. We'll now move to having a one unit here, two units here, and three back here. So we hope our eight's going to win, and if it does, the this will start being a machine that pays money. And if the eight, if Big Red shows up, we won't sting so badly because we have about fifteen dollars covering um, that outcome. So we are ready to go with the next roll. That was the seven out. So we will indeed lose here, but it will pay off ten there. Five there, and only five dollars goes to the house. We had a chance at that eight, but it didn't cost us too much. Okay. New shooter. Four is the point. Go to one unit on the come. Eight. Let's move money moves here. We'll back it up with three units and go to two on the two units on the come. So we have one, two, three. Seven out. Again, the eight loses. We're going to take a loss here, but we'll get ten there and five there. This goes back to the house. Okay. Okay. Come out, roll. Rolled a five. Point is five. That's an eight. Our money goes here. I'll back that up with $15. Put two units, ten dollars there. Ten. This goes up here. Again, I'll back triple units. That's fifteen dollars behind ten. And we'll replenish this at ten dollars. And we're at the point where we're gonna put some odds on our don't. I usually have two two increments in which I like to lay odds. I lay $20 or $30. Never more than $30 behind a don't bet. I don't like losing that much cash in one roll. Um, but at 20, I have like, you know, some coverage here and I also have some coverage here. Once this, uh, if another number is established and this moves, um, I'll back this up with 30 and I'll sort of freeze my betting for a little while. So at this point, we are ready to have another roll. There is the eight. So we will pay five up front, 18 behind, okay, and I'll take all this money back down and move that over there. Okay. All right, so now I have my two points with triple odds going behind them or triple units behind them, and I'll just replenish the thumb and hope for another eight or 10. Four, okay, we're now at the spot where I would say we have two and a half points going up here. 
we have this with odds, this with odds, and just this one that I will not add odds to. So that's my half come bet. Um, we're at the point where we're a little more vulnerable on losing money up here, so I'm going to go up to my max, my personal max of $30 there, and wait for some of this to get resolved. There's the 8, so it hit again, but it will come down this time. 10 up front, 18 behind, and everything gets taken down. Okay. So we're winning a little bit, but most of the money is still on the table. I will go back to $21 on odds. I will make this triple units here, because now I want to have these, these come bets rolling with odds. And I'll put $10 here and sort of revert back to the, the middle stage of development. Still waiting. Well, 4s and 10s are what we want. There's an 11. This is a nice bet, because the only thing that happens is our come bet wins. So we'll just take that money and enjoy it. Round out that uh, that row I guess I took from by accident. Okay, so another another roll. Elevens are just free wins in this system once the come is up there. There's an eight again, and we have had some success with the eight. I'm not gonna tinker with it. I'm not gonna move my odds around. I'm just gonna leave everything as it is, and move this up to thirty dollar max odds to cover these bets and hope that some of them win and get taken down. There's the ten, which is lovely because I'll win. 10 here, and I'll win, 20, I'll win $30 for my 15 behind. So this is a nice little nice little win. So I'll call, start doing this. And I'm already up, three, four, five, like that. I'm up a fair amount, but a lot of money's still on the table. I'll put 15 here, or actually, you know what? I may get bold, put 20 back there. I'll put $10 here. I might put the dealers on the come for two. And i uh, feeling good about this. So I'm hoping for a 4 and 8 with odds. We got a don't. I'll probably take this back down um, to $21 because I only need to cover um, really this amount, about two full points, and I have a come and this happening in case Big Red shows up. So, okay. Roll 4 and 8, and we're going to be happy. There's the 7 out. So not so great. The first thing I'll do is I'll pay the dealers off, and I would have given them odds, but didn't have time. So they want a little bit of money. What happens to us? These bets go away. These are losers. But the come will get paid 10. This will get paid 5. And um, I will give them a penny and take 3 units for my um, $21 bet there. So this goes away. But that was a nice roll. We made some come bets. Had some action. And did okay. And even made some friends with the dealer. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5. And we're up. You can see that we're up. Let's keep going. Okay, we have our don't pass and start all over. Okay, that's six. Six hard. Six is the point. Okay, go to one and one. Build this whole thing up again. Seven out. Great. Beautiful. Both bets win. Okay. Okay, here we go. More. Come out roll says. 12 craps, try again, come out roll says, 10 is the point, okay, so we'll go to our one unit come, 7 out, another win, okay, I'm feeling good about all this, and when I lay some uh, dealer bets, I usually put them on the light side, so once the come starts happening, maybe this time we'll give them if it's something to root for. So wait, I need to have a don't rolling, and let's go. Come out says that the point is 10 again. I'll go here. I'll put the dealers on for, let's say, three bucks. That's all. I'll call that off the table. Off the green, off the felt, as it were. Okay, roll to five. So our, our money will migrate here. Their money will migrate here. I will give myself triple odds with making them even, so 16 bucks here. I'd probably just give double odds for the uh, for the crew. And uh, let's play the game as it's going to happen. So we would go up to $10 on the come. Okay, that's a seven out. Two bad guys. Okay, their bet goes away. Our bet also loses. 10 there. 
five there. They'll thank us for the try, and we will move on with our lives. Three, four, five. Okay, still doing all right. Okay. Six is the point. One unit on the come. Nine. Okay, we'll back that up with three units here. Excuse me. Move up to two units there. We have our one, two, three. Nine again is what we hoped would happen. So we'll get 24 for our 16, like that. And then I will take all of this and just move this over here. Okay, like that. Um, okay, so we'll go 10 in there, just continue where we were. Replenishing that come all the time, very important. Oh, that's off the board. Okay, nine again. This is really nice. So we start to think about pressing at this point. We'll get 24 behind. I'll give them a penny and take that. So, okay, what happens? I'm going to take all of this. Okay, move that there. Move this here. Okay, I think we're doing okay. We're up about 100 bucks so far. Um, this is going to move back there. I will definitely be pressing up probably to, let's say 20 bucks. I'm pretty conservative when it comes to pressing. I'll go 10 here. I'll put the dealers up for five bucks. And uh, let's go. Keep rolling nines. There's an eight. So I will move to the eight. The dealers will move to the eight. I'll give myself triple unit odds. I'll give the dealers double odds. And I will need to replenish the cum. And I'm in a situation where I'm going to probably back everything up with the max. I'll probably go to, there's a lot of money up here, I feel like. But let's say 24 first is my intermediate increment. It's my first odds. Um, and then if, it, if I need to, I'll bump it up to $30. Not that much of a difference, but psychologically, it means something to me. So still hoping for those eights and nines. There's a 10. Okay, so we'll migrate this here. We won't do anything else. We have point, point with odds. Point with odds, point with odds, nothing. So no more bets until things get resolved, as promised. This now goes up to 30. And uh, keep going. There's the seven, okay. Everything loses. Dealers cannot catch a break. That's a lot of money we just lost, but we'll get five there and we'll get 25 here. So we lost a chunk of money there. So we might have to dial it back and not be as aggressive. Still doing all right. Even with that hit, didn't feel like we made too many comebacks there. We're still up about a hundred bucks. You'll find that when you play the system that combats come and go. So there'll be a stretch of 45 minutes where it seems like every number repeats and it's beautiful. And you can go for an hour and a half where not a single combat makes. Maybe the pass line's winning a lot and you are getting killed and uh, there's no combats. Or sometimes it's a mix. Um, yeah, you feel like in the system that the dice have to be out to get you. They have to find you um, on the point, and then they have to find you on the come out roll seven. I'll show how that works. Um, I'm also going to change the system now to the variant, where I will not play anything against six and eight as points. So I just don't like betting. My personal preference is to not bet on the don't against the six and the eight. So I find that integrates or adds a, an element of... Uh, relaxation into the system. It allows the system to breathe a little bit and back off. Um, it's, again, purely my superstition, but I think it works well for me. So, or I think I found it to work well. So um, let's do this. New come out roll. Come out roll point is an eight. So perfect example of how I will play this, which is I won't. I'll just let my don't there uh, stay there and just wait for the dice to do their own thing. And there's the seven out, so I made five bucks. I just didn't want that to escalate far beyond that. Okay, new shooter. Point is six. Again, won't do anything. This could be a little bit boring if there's like a string of five sixes and eights in a row, but there's the six immediately I lost. So nothing really happened. This is just sort of one of those lulls in the game for us. Six again. Okay, five or six points in a row that are of that middle variety. Just rolled here an eight. Okay, that doesn't matter to us. We're just going to win for six or big red. 
There's a four. There's a five. So we can imagine we would have all these points with numbers cut with uh, odds coverage. But instead, seven out, that would have been a loss, and all we get instead is a five dollar win. So that's how I play it. That's completely based on luck, like all rolls. I'll say further that I make no claim for the system to be magic. Over time, it will lose because every single bet, even the best bet in the house, um, this with odds is a losing proposition. Every bet on the table has a house edge. You're just hoping to catch a streak of luck. Okay, here we go. Eight is the point. Not gonna do anything to that, to respond to that. Seven out, five dollars. Okay, start again and hoping for these outside numbers to hit so we can have some action. Eight again. Ten. That's off the board. Here they hit the floor, yes? All right, here's a new die. All right. There's a six. Twelve craps. Two craps. See a horn? Bet a horn. There's the eight. Okay, we lost our dome. Don't really care. Waiting for something to happen here. Take another sip of my free casino drink. Okay, that's a six. Yikes. Boring. Nine. Five. Three craps. Seven out. Okay, I'll take the money. Try again. Come out roll says, back there you can't see it, it's a nine. Okay, now we're back to our system. One unit, one unit. That's an eight. Well, to be honest, that came off the felt. I'll play it. The way I played the other ones, off the felt meant no roll. So here we go. There's a two craps, this is bad. For the come bet, we have to replenish that. Seven out. So this is one of our situations where we just win there and there, take our money, and continue on. Four is the point. Okay, hoping for something, hoping for a streak. Five, our money migrates here. We'll put triple odds behind it and make it even. Sixteen bucks. Two units here. Okay, there's the seven out. So this is going to be a loss, but it'll be ten dollars there, five dollars there, six dollars goes to the house. It's the price you pay for the shot at those odds on the five. I think it's a fair price. Okay, come out roll. There's a seven. Immediate loss. Yo. Nine is the point. Okay, we'll go to one unit there. Seven out. Pay it and pay it. That's a six. This is one of those situations in which I would not be betting against that six. I'll just let everything sit. Two craps. I would have lost my come bet if I had had one. Seven out. Take the five dollars. It's a pretty cold table. Shooter. The roll is another six. Seven out. Win. Yes, I would be winning more if I had odds behind my dome. But that's only the kind of thing you can say in retrospect. In the heat of the moment, I usually don't put lots of dome odds, especially not against six and eight. Okay, there's an eight. Seven out. Okay, four is the point. Got one unit, one unit. Five. Okay, we're going to go again for the $16 behind our number. Okay, then we'll put two, dollar, two units there. There's a nine, so building up. Another triple unit thing goes back there. We'll put $16 there. 
two here, and I'm at the intermediate stage at $20, so 21, going on the don't odds, and waiting for a five and nine. There's a four. That is a winner for the table and bad for us. So this money comes down, loses, this money goes to the four, and we need to replenish our debt. So they're going to continue on, and we are waiting. These are still good bets. Okay, come out, roll. Six. Six is the point. So interesting thing. Now we're at the spot where I said I don't like betting against the six and the eight, and I don't. So what I do here, instead of laying odds to cover this money, is I'll usually request my odds to come down. And I'll leave the flat bets there. And I understand I, I, I actually may be allowed to take those down too. Oh, no, no, they're come bets, so I can't. I can take my don't whenever I want. These have to stay up. They're come bets. They're contract bets. These have to stay. So I, I, I leave them there. It's not like I've really been really thinking about it. I just misspoke. So these have to stay. And I want to target shoot these down. And I have five bucks that's just stuck here, orphaned on the don't. I just won't lay odds against the six, so I take my odds back. And I just wait for the table to sort of breathe and resolve itself. Six. Six winner, so I lost five bucks. Not a big deal. And, uh, okay, again, I will replace the dome, and I will have another come out roll, but I have my numbers here. They're ready for their odds. Come out roll, there's the nine. I will win a flat bet up front. My nine was turned on, for at least not for the odds, but that money was uh, up for grabs during the roll. So that is the point, and I just won 10 bucks off it, so how nice. So now I have my two points here, which I will decide to do triple unit odds behind. I'll put 15 there and 16 here. I'll put a two unit bet there, and I will put my $21, or roughly 20 bucks behind this, and I'm back. My system is now up and running with uh, two points with odds and waiting for one more come bet. Nine is the point. I want four and five. There's a three craps. Lost my come bet. Replenish that. There's a seven out. So this is not going to sting too much. So I will lose all this money, but I'll use it to pay 10 there, five there, and I'll pay, uh, I'll give them $1 and take 15 over there. And I'll take the rest of this money back. So we're playing craps. We got odds. I'm sorry, we got action. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we're treading water, and we're up, and we're having a good time, and I like being at the table, and that's how I like to be at the table. Um, I will keep going maybe to show one or two, or hope for one or two other scenarios to show up, especially bad things that can happen to you on the system. I, I might go forward and show how the system loses, because it definitely does sometimes. Okay, new comment roll. Ten is the point. Ten came hard. One unit. Eight. So we move here. We'll do three units back behind the eight. The point is ten. I'm happy for my come bets to be six and eight. Love that because those are likely numbers. I only said I will not lay odds and I'll freeze my system pretty much when six and eight are the point. So I have made my eight with odds. I am going to put two units there. One unit, two units, three units. There's a four. So a four. That migrates, 15 behind it, 2 here. I'll put $20 as odds behind my don't bet. That's off. Roll again. There's a 5. So this is just a orphan come bet that I'm not going to do anything to. I will go up to $30 back here just to cover some of this money. 9. Nothing happens. 10. 10 winner, which is really bad for us. I just lost a whole chunk of money. That's not so fun. So this comes down, nothing else happens. So that's really bad. Let's see what happens next. I will punch my don't, and the shooter will continue after making this 10. There's a 10 again. So it depends how you feel about this. If you feel like the 10 is hot, you might not want to bet another $30 against it, but I'm gonna. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to put the system back where it was. Two and a half points here. Maximum $30 odds on my dome. There's a yo 11. That doesn't mean anything to me. That was a five. I'll win $10 here. 
and I'll use some of that money to replenish a $10 bet on the come. There is a nine. Okay, and now that's it. Nothing's really gonna happen. Two and a half points going here, and my full don't odds happening there. Seven out. All lose, but we'll get five dollars here. And we're playing against the ten, so I'll get fifteen bucks for my thirty there. And not what I wanted, but could be worse. Always could be worse. So I will say that the worst thing that can happen, and it really does happen quite a bit. Uh, we'll go a little bit further. See one. Or, I really hope that that other scenario turns up. So you notice we're getting back down towards three hundred. Um, I'm not of the opinion that when you win, you start doubling all your bets um, because the table can turn on you and you just end up walking away flat. Um, so I'm not a super aggressive better. I like being being pretty level, and if the table gets hot, then I start pressing um, odds bets over here. So I need to replenish a don't. Come out roll says nine is the point. One unit there. Three craps. Four. Okay, so this will go here. Hope for some big money. All right, we'll go to ten dollars on the come. One, two, three. There's a seven out. So we will lose that bet. We will get ten dollars there, five dollars there, five dollars to the house. So this is the treading water aspect of the system. And it can steadily lose if nothing's really happening, but that's the price of the uh, admission to the casino. Okay, eight is the point. I'm not gonna do anything against this. I'm just gonna let it resolve on its own. Okay, four, 12 craps, five, 12, Seven out, so I'll get five dollars, and that's the end of that. Okay, three cracks, very good for us. Five bucks. Come out roll, there's the eight. Won't really play against that. Six. Ten. Get your hard weight bets out. Okay, seven out, another five dollars. So we'll just slow roll this one. Okay, another come out. We do one more of these situations. Eight, no. I don't mind actually if this is happening in real life, but for the purposes of the video, it's not the greatest. Let's make for the greatest movies. Okay, nine. Six. Five. And there will be times that you're kicking yourself that you're not in the system making comeback because. It's just as likely now that there'll be a string of fives or a string of tens to make tons of money. I just don't play it that way. Okay, there's a five. You really must. You can always put a little place bet on there if you want. I'm just not doing it now. Six. Fives and sixes seem pretty hot this roll. There's a seven out. There's five dollars for us. So we could have gotten more out of it, but we didn't. Okay. Come out roll. Point is four. Nine, so we'll lay the uh, sixteen dollars behind. Ten dollars here. That's a five. Sixteen dollars. Ten here. We'll probably lay about twenty-one over here. Four, four winners. So it's time to start thinking about wrapping up this game, but. We just lost our don't, a significant amount of money for migrates. So that wasn't fun. And now we're actually, if you look, slowly, we're down. We have a lot of money at the table. Um, so we're probably around 300. Well, I'll settle up in a moment. Let's do another come out roll. So I'll show you when things get sour and go south. There it is. The worst thing that can happen to you in this system. Moments ago, we had odds against the point, and the point rolled. We lost 30 bucks or so. And then immediately after, seven, natural, which causes the don't to lose, causes all of these come bets to lose, which is another 25 or 30 bucks, and your odds get returned to you. So, all right, so that's really a bad thing, and it, I promise it does happen sometimes. So it's survivable. 
Um, I think we are almost dead even here. I'm going to stop. Um, we have 100 back here. This is 100. We have... No, we're down because this is 50, uh, 60, 65, 70, 75. We're down about 25 bucks. In real time, I think the casino would have taken about an hour and a half for that kind of play, maybe an hour. Um, it's fun. I, I, liked, I like going in and doing this play. Here at the end, I'd like to return to a point I raised earlier but left hanging. I defended my system as a non-hedging system, and I'd like to explain that further. A pure hedge, in my mind, is when you lay a bad bet to cover a decent bet, a risky bet to cover a, a good bet. And the classic example of this would be a craps check. If you have a flat bet on the pass line and you cover it with a craps check over here, like a dollar, that'll pay seven to one, there is no way for you to win both of those bets. Let's get this out of the way. One of them will definitely lose, so you're definitely giving the casino some of your money. If you just played a pass line bet, you could win five bucks on a seven, but in this case, you're always giving them a dollar. So if you think of every dice roll, there is no way that both of these bets will win because this is a one roll bet. So if a two, three, or 12 shows up, this wins. And in, some, in those three cases, this loses. So anytime this wins, this loses. For any other roll of the dice, a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, this loses. So like I said, there's always, there's always a loss. Of these two bets, they cannot both possibly win. So I would regard this as a hedge against this good bet, where you would be winning whatever your return would be on pass line bets over time. It will now be less because you're always paying the casino a dollar for that bet. In the system that I have proposed, let's say we're in a situation where we had a don't bet followed by a two unit come bet and one of our numbers, let's say if we are at a, let's say if the point is 10 and somebody rolled up six, so we have this situation here, right? You can imagine that uh, we're in the middle of our system. Oh, I couldn't know why I couldn't find this, but here we go. So we have a don't here, a come here, and a six with odds. So we're in the middle of a bet and we're waiting for another come to happen. It is possible for all three of these bets to win. For example, let's say the dice roll an 11, this wins, right? And you can choose to take it down if you want. Um, then let's say the dice roll a six, then this wins. Okay, and take it down. And lastly, you felt you've had enough, you've been enjoying collecting your money off the table, then the dice seven out, and you don't win, and possibly with odds or however you played it. So the point is, is that with the right stretch of, of rolls, all three of those bets can win, and that's because they are multi-roll bets. So, like I said, it actually can be fun if you are playing don't, a come, let's say you have a couple of numbers, if you decide that you think that the, the roll is coming to an end, let's say we're in a situation where we have 10 is the point, we have some come bets here that have, you know, there's a 5 and an 8 that are active, another come here, and you just feel like you've had enough. Let's say you are backing up this with, uh, you know, let's say you have $20 odds on the don't. And this is the situation that we're in in this system. Um, if you feel like it's been a long roll and you've had enough fun collecting your come bets, then start taking them down. Um, let's say that the dice rolls a... You know, an eight. So pay this off. And okay, so at this point, if they roll an eight, this will happen. The come will move there. You can take this as winnings. Then the next thing that happens is you don't replace the come. You say, yeah, I'm starting to feel good about this. I'm going to take my odds down off my don't. I'll keep that as my money. It's still possible for the dice to roll another eight. Pay it. Take it down. Say, uh, dealer, I want my five odds down. They take them down for you. The dice roll, let's say they seven out, you lose this bet, you win that bet. And it's possible, um, as you go up and down with your bets, to, um, to manage them. Uh, but in this system, when you're just playing come bets and don'ts, they can all win. So therefore, there's never any hedging. There's just times at which a come bet is, a come and a don't are temporarily balancing a come bet that has moved up here. So... As I regard it, since there's no, there are pure winners and pure losers in this system, um, there are numbers that can just purely win me money, and there are numbers that can purely lose me money, um, but there's no situation in which I've put a bet that can't win. Um, it's just a matter of luck, which is all you can count, for, count, um, count on in this, in this game. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if I think of any other techniques, 
worth sharing, I'll post them. Thank you very much.